Hi, good morning. Welcome to Raw Online. I am Dr. D. Malarvari, working as professor in Sri Balaji Dental College. This lecture is about fundamentals of cavity preparation. This is a very important topic. If you master this topic, you can learn uh, cavity preparation for different restorations easily. Let's start with some fun. Whatever you do, always give 100% unless you are donating blood. So with that smile on your face, let's start with the lecture. These are the contents of my presentation. There will be a small introduction about the topic, definition, objectives of cavity preparation, principles for cavity preparation and what are the factors that affect tooth preparation, a small uh, introduction about the nomenclature, classification and each step in detail. First, let me define cavity preparation. What do you mean by cavity preparation? It is your objective is to remove the diseased part of the tissue. So you are mechanically altering the diseased tooth so that it can receive a restorative material and it can re-establish the healthy state for the tooth so that you get aesthetic corrections where indicated along with normal function and form. So you give back the normal form and function for the diseased tooth by removing the disease and re-establishing the original form and function. There are two types of preparation. They are called as conventional preparation or modified preparation. Conventional preparation usually has a specific wall form, depth and margin forms. So these are usually used for amalgam, gold and ceramic materials. Whereas in modified preparation, you don't need a specific depth, wall or margins. So these are used for adhesive bonded restorations like composites or glass inomers. So these are the two different types of preparations. Why do we need to restore the tooth? You want to restore the integrity of the tooth surface. You want to restore the function of the tooth. You want to restore the appearance of the tooth. And the most important objective is to remove the diseased tissue from the tooth. So when we want to list the objectives for cavity preparation, removing the diseased tissue becomes your primary objective. But there are other objectives as well. You want to place the margins of the restoration as conservative as possible to ensure the cavity form it should not be under the force of mastication so that your restoration doesn't break or nor the tooth does break with forces of mastication to allow aesthetic and functional placement here aesthetic becomes very important especially in the anterior region and nowadays Patients are very particular about the appearance and also functional. Without, without functional placement of the restorative material, aesthetics would not have any role. Now moving on to the principles. If you want to prepare a cavity, what are the principles that you have to have in mind? You need to gain access to caries. Only if you gain access, you can remove it completely, right? So next would be to remove the caries lesion completely. Then after you remove the diseased tissue, you don't want to leave any unsupported enamel so that it breaks over a period of time when the patient exerts force on the tooth. So you want to remove the unsupported enamel and extend the margins so that they are accessible for instrumentation and cleaning. After you restore and if the patient is not able to maintain the restoration and the margin, then it becomes a problem later. So what are the factors before you prepare a tooth, you need to consider certain factors. You can divide them as general factors or the restorative material factors. So in general factors, first you should know how to diagnose, whether it's a class 1, class 2 or class 3 restoration or other types of restoration. So you should know what, kind, uh, what restoration is required for what condition and then you should know the anatomy of the tooth. If you don't know the anatomy, then you won't be able to restore normal form. So again, function will be compromised. Patient factors, because the patient should be able to pay you. If the, it depends, uh, mainly patient factor involves the economic status of the patient, expectation of the patient. If the patient, uh, if the tooth involved is in the anterior region, then you have to decide on the restorative material based on that. 
and conservation of tooth structure. Just because you want to restore the tooth, you can't cut away a chunk of tooth portion. So you need to conserve the tooth structure as much as possible. So these are the factors that you have in mind even before you prepare the cavity. And the restorative material factors, there are various restorative materials available right now. It can be a metallic or a non-metallic aesthetic restorative uh, material or it can be a bonded or unbonded restoration. So you need to choose the correct material depending on the indication.